It was just like short, punchy, and disturbing, and just an interesting take on the corpse situation. Hi guys, I just finished watching The Corpse of Anna Fritz. Uh, this is a Spanish film and it's actually quite short, it goes for an hour and ten minutes. The film is very disturbing, it's about three guys who go into like a hospital's like morgue area and um, they are visiting a woman who is Anna Fritz and she was actually a famous actress and she is now dead. And then I don't think this is a spoiler because it happens very, very early on, uh, they decide to have sex with her dead body. I just really wanted to warn you guys because when I started watching it, I had no idea that it was about that. And watching things like the old Topsy of Jane Doe, um, I thought it would be a little bit more like that. And when it um, starts, it has like this really cool shot where they're kind of wheeling her in. And when they're rolling her in, they have some voiceovers saying, you know, like, oh, Anna Fritz was so loved, blah, blah, blah. And it's all kind of meant to be news reports and um, I guess radio reports about her death. So I thought it was really setting it up to make her into some grand person. And then she'd be like really kind of spooky. And then maybe people come visit her and, you know, it'd be an autopsy of Jane Doe situation. I really did like that setup though. I thought it was very clever to incorporate so much and give such a good vibe to the very start of the film without having to over explain a lot of stuff. It was just a very smart way of setting up the film. But the bio for the film is quite funny. It says Anna Fritz, a famous beautiful actress, has recently died. Three young men sneak into the morgue to see her naked, fascinated by her beauty. It doesn't really give away too much, but it is way grosser than that because the guys are just talking so much shit as they're going in and you just know something weird's gonna go down and when it happens it is quite shocking and disturbing so I just did really want to warn you guys uh, that it has weird sexual content that some of you might find disturbing but in all the film was actually great I know that that's really hard to say because I've just said how disgusting it is uh, but I, it had a lot of suspense it is kind of like this film that something happens and something else happens and it just goes kind of out of control really fast and I like that when you just can't grasp onto like what's happening and everything is just a disaster and uh, it's really interesting to see that in a horror movie because it could be done in a way where you know it's like a comedic way where there's like that awkward kind of humor like Ricky Gervais or whatever when everything just goes wrong or like peep show you know what I mean uh, but this was really interesting to be done in a horror that is completely serious really dramatic and pretty disturbing and everything just goes downhill really fast and there's no saving it uh, so I really liked that journey and it also was so short that everything was just over so fast I wouldn't actually mind if they put another 20 minutes in it but I think it was just like short punchy and disturbing and just an interesting take on the corpse situation. I'd say this film is a mix between the autopsy of Jane Doe and Dead Girl. Yep, I said it. And I think it is definitely worth watching. I just want to mention as well, I think it was done in a tighter budget, but they made it look fantastic. And they also used a lot of greens, blues, or more like greensy yellow kind of tones and whites to really get that hospital feel. The aesthetic of it was spot on is what I'm trying to say. It was gritty and like crazy like basement hospital looking and I really liked that. I'm gonna give this film a 7 out of 10. I would give it a 7.5 but apparently that does not translate. Um, so I really recommend you guys checking it out especially if you like the autopsy of Jay Doe or Dead Girl. If you like Dead Girl definitely check this one out. Um, also something really interesting about this film is it caused some kind of stir in the Philippines because it was illegally downloaded somewhere between estimated between five to seven million times so it's very popular over there for some reason which is bizarre it must have like caught on underground or something uh so i thought that was a really cool fact anyway i'm gonna let you guys go and i hope you're having a great day and i'll see you guys tomorrow for another 31 days of horror i'll talk to you guys then bye